Good morning, y'all. Happy Sunday. We are doing another vlog today. We're going back to Georgia for Thanksgiving this week. There's just a lot to get done before we go home, including cleaning out our apartment. And I don't even know if we'll be able to like clean and stuff, but we have so much still over there. Even though we've made so many freaking rounds, there's like, it's like never ending, just random shit. Half the things were like, why do we still own this? And we are getting rid of a lot, but I am a hoarder a little bit, so I'm definitely gonna film a little Amazon organization video. I bought so many like little organization contraptions, so I'm very excited to start organizing that, but we're gonna actually make a run over to the apartment. Um, we have so much like trash and cardboard boxes, so we wanna take it over there because today's trash day. They have like ballet trash at our apartment, which that is definitely something that I'm gonna miss so much about living in the apartment. We also really need to look up like when trash and recycling day is because I think we know when trash day is, but we put out the recycling with the trash and it didn't get picked up the whole day. So I, I was just confused about that. Lots of little things that we're learning literally every single day. This is the current state of everything right now. Just like a lot of little things that again, need to be organized. Like this is our drunk drawer. Brace yourself. <laughs> we have a lot of work to do. Pantry, lots of trash, lots of recycling, like I said. So we need to take that over. But oh my goodness, I just can't wait to like sit and actually go through this. I already threw out a bunch of stuff. So none of this really needs to be like thrown out. But just need to make it a little bit cute and obviously a little bit more organized. Like pastas are like everywhere. I don't even know. So we'll deal with that later. We have recycling the trash in the back ryan just got the drill every time we've been in the apartment we always forget the drill we have to take off the brackets that held my floating shelves and i have no idea where i'm gonna put those things but i feel like once i get my furniture in there i'll be able to see where i want a wall decor i wanted to give you guys an update because i feel like i haven't done that in a while um so the living room is completely cleared out that all i think is trash and then also the kitchen is completely cleared out except for I need to get all that stuff in there, but it's just like cleaning supplies and all that. Oh shoot, Ryan said that this was full. Let's see, hopefully he was joking. Oh shoot. <laughs> so I gotta get that, I guess. Ryan's finally taking off the brushes. Yesterday, Ryan finally took a lot of his clothes over there. I guess there's still some left. I haven't used my Nespresso in so long, but now we have a couple of your coffee shops. So I have to use it to clean it out my clean cycle. I just noticed there's some little view in there still. Oh god. I just washed it. <laughs> so we're gonna do it again, I guess. Also guys, look at this backsplash. I really I need to take it down. I will probably do it after I come back. It held up very well except for right behind the air fryer <laughs> and that's where it was which honestly that's not bad because it wasn't showing this whole time if you guys didn't see that vlog it was like last year that i put it up it's like stick on backsplash that's from amazon it has this really pretty marble pattern on it yum i dare you to drink it <laughs> <laughs> Just a little bit chaotic and then we have so much laundry to put away on top of all this so it's gonna be fun there has to be a method to this madness huh there's to be madness to this method not too crazy <laughs> how I don't smell ever so it's hard to know if I ever wore something yeah mm -hmm. Doing a little target run, we just needed a break from, you know, unpacking and everything and putting things away. And we found these um, shoe racks. I think these are gonna be perfect for our closet. Originally, I wanted like a full built-in, um, like on the closet wall where it dead ends, but I think this would be perfect for on top of where our clothes are because I don't know what else to use the space for. So we literally bought like five. These are not 44, they're actually 17, so it's perfect. Somehow I ended up in the clothing department. Look how freaking cute this shiny puffer is. I also saw a TikTok on these pants recently and I got them. 
somewhere down here. I'm gonna go try them on. Here's the first pair of pants that I'm trying on. They're like cargos. I don't have a Thanksgiving outfit just yet, so I thought maybe this could be cute. I'm obsessed with these jeans. They're so good. They're actually pretty comfy, like a little bit stretchy. They're gonna be perfect for the holiday. I don't think I've said this on the vlog, but my trunk is super fucked up. No, because it's gonna crush that box. Babe, no, just keep putting it in. It's scary. <laughs> Basically, well, sorry for my car being such a mess, but like I'll open my trunk and it literally collapses and I really need to get it figured out. But of course it broke and started doing this issue like two weeks before the move. I was like, that's, mm. that's great. That's perfect. But we went crazy in Target, y'all. We bought more hangers, the shoe racks, jeans. I actually got some makeup, so we'll do a Target haul when we get home. I promise you guys a Target haul. Can you please not stretch out my headband? <laughs> it's stunning. You look good? Yeah. You need my skincare with this on? <laughs> New boxers. Dark wash jeans. Ryan left his jeans when we were on vacation or something, right? Yeah, in Michigan. Advanced temp control. <laughs> Dark wash. Temp control? Temp. For jeans? Yeah, it's be too hot. Very cool. Mm hmm. But you got Is three. My light wash. Are they skinny or straight leg? Athletic fit. Extra room in the seat and thigh. Slim tapered leg. Total flex. Nice. They do look stretchy. Mm -hmm. These are more for boots, you know? Mm hmm. These are for. Not boots. Okay. <laughs> and I got these like, nice festive ones. <laughs> Those are mine. Show it. Raise it up. Straight leg jeans. These I'm are so uh, excited to style them. Baggy. So they're relaxed hip and thigh, baggy leg, 100% cotton, non stretch. They are. They have like a little bit of stretch to it. It's not like super stiff, at least. I like them. They're pretty comfortable. These are my medium wash. Cute. My friend wore a headband when we went out pretty recently Wait, and I thought she looks really cute. And so she inspired me to get a headband. Look how freaking pretty this is. We actually have an ornament that looks pretty similar to this. Just all pearls. What do we think? Is this supposed to pull your bangs back? No, this is how you wear it now. Nowadays. Looks cuter like that. Yeah. Okay. So all you want is this shoe rack. Mm -hmm. For the... Above the... Yeah, above the thing. <laughs> What's thing. it called? <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> sure. Yeah, on the shelf, I guess. But I also bought some makeup. Whenever Ryan leaves me alone in like a department store like that, it is so dangerous. He was trying on his jeans. I was like already done trying on mine. And so I got a few things in the beauty section. Starting off with this Milani blush. I don't know. I feel like I've been using the same blush for like... A little while now i kind of just want to switch it up so i think this is in the color berry amour and i'm not even sure if that's going to show up on my skin but we're going to try it out i hope it does and then i needed a restock on the telescopic but i saw that it was black and i got really worried i was like what is different about this because i usually get the gold one it's not waterproof so maybe it just comes in a different color now and then a new blush brush because my other one is just not cutting it anymore. And then this, because I used to use this and I feel like I just want to try out a different like bronzer situation. I just remember this one being so buttery. It's literally called the butter bronzer. So I'm excited to try these out tomorrow and I think we're going to go try to build these shoe racks. I'm so excited that we got them because there is like so much space on top of the closet. I'll show you guys. I'm to use a drill, but it's like ball. Mm -hmm. This one for him. 
downstairs still. Mm -hmm. I literally feel like I'm an elf in Santa's Christmas shop. We just like built five of these. I don't even know, within like 20 minutes, right? Let's put them in and see what they look like. Yay. I'm gonna need a step stool shoes. Sorry, flush with that. Perfect. May have to do a showroom style. morning you guys I'm actually going back to Target this morning because I want two more of those shoe racks um, we bought five in total I was even telling Ryan when we were at Target we should like get them all because I just had a feeling that we would be able to use all of them you know um, so I think I just want a couple more I could put like two more in our primary uh, closet and then I could also put two more in the guest room closet so if they have four, I might buy them all. I'm just gonna go to Target, pick up that. Probably a step stool too, because now it's gonna be so high up. I'm definitely gonna need a step stool in the closet. Okay, after going to two Targets, we secured four of them. That literally took less than three minutes. Four of them in less than 15 minutes. Now that Ryan's clothes are in here, it feels like an adult closet. It's an adult closet? I don't know. It just like feels real and like we're old and stuff, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I guess like your suits and the smell of your leather boots is what I was trying to get at. <laughs> man. Yeah, like a man. Perfection. And I'm gonna put the other two in my office closet. Oh. I honestly didn't even realize I had this many boots, but we're trying to organize them all on top so that they fit. Sun's finally out, which is so annoying because I literally canceled a shoot that I was supposed to have today. Um, but she texted me and she was like, hey, the sun's out. Should we still do it? And I was like, honestly, yeah, let's do it. I was just kind of nervous because the past two shoots, it said it was going to be sunny and then it was cloudy. So I just didn't want to have that happen again. But it's turning out to be a beautiful day. So I'm excited. But Ryan got another package from the gate. <laughs> kitchen is a mess. I'm currently filming an Amazon organization video. I'm excited to finally organize everything and like not live in chaos, but honestly, I don't know if I'll get everything done today. Hopefully I will. I feel like that color is kind of off. I can't smell anything. It's Texas burnt orange. It's kind of like I don't know. It kind of like looks... Dad. Yeah. Sorry, babe. <laughs> I feel like I have pretty good luck with the gate, but you, not so much. What the hell is that? Ryan, it's gonna be a no for me. I'm not even joking. How much did you pay for that? 200 bucks. Hilarious. How much actually? Like 30? Comment below if you guys think yeah, this is. I just. It like looks really low quality, which obviously. It's not the real thing. Headed to my shoe. I'm shooting at a location that usually I get 
eaten alive by mosquitoes. So I really tried to cover my um, legs and I do put on bug spray. So I literally don't even know what is in that grass. But I always get eaten, hopefully not today. I've had it out and when I come back, I'm gonna try to finish up all the organization. We got to our destination. It is beautiful today. And it's just so funny because I was complaining about how every day was cloudy. But today I'm like, ooh, maybe it's a little too sunny for the shoot especially because we're doing it midday at 2 p.m. because we think it's going to get cloudier later today. I think there's enough shade that we can work with, so hopefully it goes well. I got home from my shoot a little bit ago and I've just been organizing around the house. I really need to pack. Luckily, our flight tomorrow to go home for Thanksgiving is around like 4 p.m., so it's not a morning flight. Otherwise, I would be stressed the F out right now, which honestly, I'm halfway there just because like I wanted our house to be a little bit more um i guess like just organized and more put together we're just not there yet and i know things take time but i feel like we've been working on it every single freaking day and i just thought i'd be there by now i also just realized that all my cutting boards is like the one thing back the apartment still so we're just gonna use this little pan dish i do want to air fry it i think i'm gonna do old bay seasoning that's what i did last time with a little bit of butter and it was so good the past few times i've made salmon i have been saving the salmon skin and then i just like fry it in the air fryer and i give it to sophie for a little snack a little treat and she loves salmon skin and the vitamins in like salmon itself you know are really good for hair skin and nails so i swear she looks like extra shiny the next day i don't know if it's a placebo or what but like she loves it so that's all that matters we're gonna, okay we're gonna keep this aside and i'm not gonna put any seasonings on it or anything but we'll just fry it up just like that i was on the phone with my sister and i told her that i kind of want to go out the night before thanksgiving i feel like that's when everyone goes out post-grad back in their hometowns but i've never done that because I usually stay at my mom's and my hometown is where my dad lives. He's not even gonna be here for Thanksgiving. He'll just be here for Christmas because he's traveling. But I really wanna go out because I've never done that and I just think it'd be fun. And my friend Mackenzie that lives in Austin is moving back to Georgia. She's from Georgia, but we like didn't know each other before Austin. And so she told me that she's probably gonna go out and we're kind of like, from around the same area so like where we would go out is probably like the same place so she's going out and i was like okay well you know since you're moving and everything i feel like i should spend more time with you <laughs> we'll see if it actually happens my birthday is this coming saturday it is currently monday which is just weird because it just like does not feel like a birthday is coming up um but i have a reservation at umi if you guys live in atlanta you probably know it's like one of the best sushi restaurants in my opinion and i almost always go to Omi for my birthday and the other day my sister was like see you never try new restaurants in Atlanta and so that's why you probably think it's boring and I was like you know what you're right but also like when I'm going back home to my hometown I like want to get all my favorites like Taco Mac we always go to Taco Mac at least once I literally even go to Brewster's like especially in the summer I always go to Brewster's and i'm trying to think what else obviously umi if it's a special occasion because it's definitely more on the expensive side and a birthday is the most special occasion so me and ryan are just gonna go to umi and then try oh my god guys there's this one place on i think it's like alfred highway or something i'm not really sure i'm not really good with road names but um, I'm from Roswell and my dad like lives in the Alpharetta area. This place is like the best hole in the wall sushi restaurant because the nigiri pieces are definitely more on the affordable side, but the quality of them is so good. And it's called Tanaka and Ryan told me about it in the past year. So every time I go home, I go at least twice. And I'm definitely <laughs> trying to go like the moment we get back home because ugh, their sushi is just so good. Anyways, I'm going to pop this in the air fryer, probably put a little butter or olive oil. I think I have it here. Um, oh my god, I feel like I've just been organizing all day. Progress has definitely been made, but I don't feel like it has just because it's just such a mess everywhere still. I'm getting a little delusional. We definitely need to eat something, so let's cook this up. I forgot these were left at the apartment, so I made Ryan go and get them, but we have the original and the hot and spicy. So I'll probably do the original. 